Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming um, to your reading. Just a couple of things. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also too, I am um, doing one or two question readings, which is a more affordable option and it is 22.22 per question. So Leo, let's just go ahead and hop right into your reading. Um, really quick, this top energy is going to be more so like a twin flame or like a divine connection. Usually those tend to be a little bit more difficult or this also can be a connection for those of you who are currently in committed relationships, relationships. And then the bottom energy is a new energy coming in or for those of you guys that are currently dating um, or single. Okay, so let's just hop into it. How does Leo view their current romantic situation with this top energy spirit? Okay, we have temperance. Some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius possibly. Or a Cancer or a Gemini. Okay, you also have the tower here, which is Mars energy and also death. So Scorpio Aries energy heavy right here. Okay, so... I'm going to read these cards first and then I'll pull the next set. All right. And then listen if it, if it resonates, whatever one, sometimes you have to flip it. All right. So first things first, I feel like right now you and this person may be at a distance. Um, and at a distance, I think right now also there's something here about patience, patiently waiting to see somebody or patiently waiting for something to come in. I also feel like too, for some of you guys, you may have recently reconciled with somebody or you're trying to reconcile with somebody. With the Queen of Cups here also, this is a very intuitive energy, right? You and this person may be exchanging telepathic messages. Um, there's a lot of empathic energy here. There's a lot of, you know, emotions that are connected. But I feel like the distance is what's causing this tower moment. And I feel like things between you and this person, they may have started off where things were very balanced. You both were very emotionally connected to one another. But for whatever reason, the tower with death, there is a really big ending here. And I feel like there's something that you or your person needed to release. What do you want me to tell Leo? What do you want me to tell Leo here? How does Leo view this situation? What do you want me to tell them with their person of interest romantically? Okay, Four of Pentacles reversed. I definitely feel like something from the past was holding you guys back. And I feel like it may have been a sense of possessiveness, right? This is Capricorn energy. So I feel like there was a sense of possessiveness inside of this relationship. And maybe somebody finally let go of it. And I feel like it comes from childhood or something from their past. Or maybe somebody felt abandoned. So they have a hard time like trusting people and when they meet somebody it's like they hang on to them you have the wheel of fortune here which is beautiful and you also have the queen of swords so some of you definitely may be dealing with a libra um and you also have the wheel of fortune here too which is sad right so i feel like right now you may feel like this relationship is destined right also too you may have felt like you've been trying to hold on as long as you could to something and finally it's like fate took over or destiny took over and it ultimately spun it and now i feel like there's something here where you have a clear-cut decision with where you need to go all right how does leo feel about this energy the fool with the page of swords reversed so it may even be that somebody just stopped talking to you. Because the Page of Swords reverse is petty, you know, they're, um, they're vindictive, right? The Page of Swords, they play mind games. And with the Fool here, you may feel like you were stupid to even think that this relationship was going to go off the ground. And maybe that you felt like you put too much heart into something. Okay. The Magician Reverse just popped up, and this is for your newer energy. I also feel like, too, if you guys were dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio's coming in heavy here, um, Aries or Virgo, 
it's like this person you may feel like they they've manipulated some type of situation let me put this back though because i feel like this is for that person all right how does uh leo view this new situation how, how do they view their new situation romantically okay page of cups beautiful five of cups eight of pentacles and the chariot so i think that there is a lot of emotions here between you and this person and i think that you feel like somebody here betrayed you with the page of cups it's like i think that you thought this relationship was going to take off the ground and then all of a sudden boom right something happens here with this five of cups and that's mars and scorpio so i feel like this person was hiding a lot and they may have not been told telling you what they were doing and I feel like there's a lot of regret here on your end pertaining to opening yourself up to love or believing that this could be something that it, it isn't or it was. The Eight of Pentacles here, that's a Virgo sun. I feel like a lot of things have happened during Virgo season. I think that it's happened a lot for a lot of people. And I feel like right now you may just be very focused on yourself, focused on working, um, also too, I feel like you're very focused on your body, eating right, putting the right things in, you know, working out, drinking your water, whatever you need to do. I feel like you're preparing yourself for some type of, and I don't know if this person is, this person may also be at a distance for you. I feel like you're preparing to see this person. That's what I'm getting because you want to move forward and you may be upset because, this person is always working or it's not worked out yet for you to see them, but I definitely feel like the chariot is coming. So somebody's coming to see somebody. What um, three cards? Okay, can you give me three more cards here for what you want me to tell Leo about how they feel about their situation? Three of Pentacles. Okay, Mars and Capricorn. Ten of Cups with the King of Swords. I think that you want to work very hard at the situation. And I feel like for you, you don't want to give up on this new opportunity with love because in your mind, this is perfect, right? In your mind, this can be something amazing. I also feel like though, with the King of Swords here, I'm going to be honest. I feel like somebody here is living in a fantasy world. I don't know if it's you, Leo, and I don't know if it's your person, and I'm going to be honest, like Geminis and Pisces, like they do that too, right? Everything is like sunshine and rainbows. But I feel like something here pops some of these bubbles. And I feel like it it, it reshifts your focus. Um, Capricorn or Aquarius energy. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. So how does this... Whoa. How does this top energy feel romantically about Leo? How does this top energy, this soulmate connection, how do they, or twin flame, how do they feel romantically about Leo? Okay, King of Pentacles, beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, oh my gosh, with the Two of Swords. So I feel like this person looks at you as somebody that's very stable, okay? You're somebody that likes the finer things of life, because you have Aries and you also have Taurus energy here. They feel like you're very stable. They feel like you're very disciplined, but also too, you're coming across as a king to this person. So you're coming up as more of the dominant person. King of Pentacles can also be Leo as well because Leos represent kings, right? So I definitely feel like your energy is coming off very stable, but also I think a little bit masculine. I'm gonna be honest. With, with the Ace of Pentacles here, they feel like you have a lot to offer. They, they feel like with you, things can grow, things can expand, right? That there's a lot of prosperity and that they absolutely can build some type of foundation with you. And I feel like they want another chance at trying to make something right here. Ace of Wands, again, there's some type of new beginning that they want with you based on how things ended. So, even though right now things may be rough or rocky or you may be in your head, this person still still has very strong feelings for you. And then you also have the Two of Swords. So, and this is Moon and Libra. You know, I, I feel like right now you're at a place because this is how they view you. 
where, you know, you need to make some type of decision. You may not be speaking to them. And I feel like you're avoiding some type of conversation with this person. I also want you guys to pay attention down here. There's one suit that's missing. We have pentacles, we have wands, and we have a two of swords, right? The thing about Leos is that you guys tend to give, right? To your partner, typically, you'll give everything to your partner. So with the King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles dominating here, I feel like this is a very, um, this is a relationship that is very financial or very materialistic possibly, or has like funds, right? There's something here about an exchange of money. But what's lacking up here is emotions. Are they attracted to you? Absolutely with the Ace of Wands. Absolutely. But I also feel like there's a lack of communication and a lack of emotions right now on this person's end. One more card here, please, for Leo. One more card here, please, for Leo. Okay, the Six of Swords. They also feel like there's something here, like you tell them things, but you don't tell them everything. And with Mercury and Aquarius, it's kind of an awkward way of communicating the way that you do or the way that you get across your point sometimes for some reason. It's like, first, I, I don't know, the message that I just got here is that there's a level of um, possessiveness with this person. Like they view you as very possessive and you don't have a problem telling that person you're mine, right? Taurus energy, that's a highly possessive energy. It's like you're viewed as a possession and they feel like you view them as a possession. Okay, what about this newer energy down at the bottom for Leo? What about this newer energy down at the bottom for Leo? Woo, that just popped out. Okay, <laughs> five of wands is here, five of cups, page of cups, and the three of pentacles. So, Again, I feel like there's a lack of communication. If you guys can see, there's a Band-Aid over his mouth for a reason, right? But I think too, with Saturn and Leo, they may feel like there's too much um, like fights for no reason, like certain nitpick nitpicking or certain drama that just doesn't need to be there. And I also feel like too, with them, with this um, Mars and Scorpio energy, it's also like they're upset as well. So, and it's funny because this, this energy was in the exact same place as it was for your, um, for how you felt about the situation. They may have felt like they let you down in some sense, or it's like, you feel like you need more from this person. So you're upset, or you may be upset about something up here. So you're having a hard time moving on. I also feel like with Mars energy though, Mars and Scorpio, this person feels like you're somebody who always gets what you want. No matter how you go about it, you tend to get what you want. With the Page of Cups here, I also feel like this person is, you know, feeling, you know, emotions towards you, right? Which I think is beautiful. You have two emotional cards here. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of emotions. There's a potential of something starting new. And there may even be a surprise here that they're very surprised at how emotional you can be. And they also feel like you're a very hard worker, right? Mars and Capricorn, you work hard. You're somebody that likes things to go a certain way. Like you like to be very organized in how you manage things with this person. Can you give me one more card with how they feel about Leo romantically, please? Okay, temperance. I do feel like there's there possibly can be distance with you and this person. And I feel like areas where you guys are great, I feel like those are expanded, okay? But areas that things are bad, it's like that's also um, expanded. So I feel like there's kind of like this hot and cold for some reason. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like with this person, it's like as good as things are, right? Look at the cards. You have two great cards here. You have two bad cards here. It's like, as good as things are, they feel like they're also just as bad. And it can come with some type of communication or lack of communication or how things are being expressed to them. What is the current block between Leo and this top energy? Romantic block between Leo and this top energy. Okay. The tower. Okay, 
which was an ending which we saw in the beginning. The nine of, a nine of swords, nine of cups, and the hierophant. You know, Leo, and you know I love you guys, but I feel like there's something shocking here that happened between you and them. And let me ask, how does Leo feel about this tower energy? Because I don't think it's the seven of wands. I feel like the block here for you guys is that you want this person to put forth the effort. It's like you want this person to want you just as bad. And I also feel like there's multiple challenges that are coming up in your relationship for whatever the reasoning is. Why, why are so many challenges coming up for Leo here? Why? Because of the moon, right? There's a lot of things that are not being said. There's a lot of things that are hidden. And I also feel like this person has a fear that you're hiding something from them and that you just want to move very quickly. I also feel like, though, with the Nine of Swords here, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a shit ton of anxiety for this person or for you with where are things going. And I feel like the anxiety has been there for a period of time. This is Mars and Gemini. So, and remember, there's two Mars cards here. So obviously there's an issue with somebody taking a level of action or how somebody takes action. And I feel like it's their actions are hidden, moon, which is causing these issues. But I, def I definitely feel like the block is somebody thinks too much. Somebody's worried too much. Also, too, the block is um, Pisces and Jupiter. This is somebody that is happy alone, or you may be happier alone, or somebody has a fantasy of what this could be, but it's not, right? It's something about things not being fulfilled, okay? Because think about it. If it's a block, the Nine of Cups, then what would be the block, right? I also feel like, too, with the Hierophant here, okay? So Taurus energy. This person is very stuck in their ways. They have a certain way that they go about things, and I feel like they like things to slow down. There's something here about this person being very methodical and wanting to do what's best for them and not necessarily what's best for the entire relationship as a whole. Also, too, somebody may be married here or somebody may already be in some type of committed relationship, which is why it's not moving forward. This can also be a block of... Um, Somebody's family, right? Traditions, like those kind of things. Like something here is coming in between you and them. And I definitely feel like it can be family, traditions, you know, some type of older methodology or some type of older way of thinking. What about this newer energy down here? What about this newer energy down here? What's blocking these two romantically for Leo? Okay, page of cups reversed. The five of wands, the five of cups. Again, you guys are getting the same information and temperance. For me, I feel like there's too many arguments and the arguments outweigh whatever positive is coming in here. And I feel like with this energy, it's also like somebody is too focused on what they lost instead of what they can gain. And the distance between you may definitely be an issue. But on top of that, I also feel like this person may be going back and forth between you and other people. But for whatever reasoning, the block is coming on your end. I don't know why, but they're like tired of fighting with you. Like they don't want to fight. They don't like to fight. And for them, it's like they want a level of balance. But it's like this situation based on the block is locking, is lacking balance and harmony. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.